It seems like everyone in Seattle has a story about Best Cafe. Well, there's a lot of memories. My fondest one is me and my friends coming home from a show, usually punk or metal, coming here at 3 a.m. and having the all-you-can-eat hash browns. Located on a bustling stretch of Aurora Avenue adjacent to Green Lake, its walls adorned with hundreds of hand-drawn pictures, Bess has been an institution in this city since 1954, starting as a nickel slots gambling parlor before morphing into what owner Mason Reed describes as something akin to a punk rock waffle house. Somebody said that a long time ago, that it's the best is the only one of the only places in the world where you can see a guy who's just getting done with his night, you know, having drunk uh, biscuits and gravy at four or five in the morning, and a guy who's suited up and on his way to work, having biscuits and gravy and drinking coffee, sitting next to each other and having a conversation, you know. Mason took the reins here in January 2024 after being approached by its longtime owner. It was kind of presented to me like either it's going to be you or we're just going to let it die. And I didn't want that to happen on my watch. So I, I love Seattle. I love old Seattle. And I want to keep as much of the, the good times alive as I can. All right, six egg omelet. Are we sharing? Kind of? No? OK. Waffle? How about some syrup? A former touring musician who first fell in love with Bess years ago during his frequent stops in Seattle, Mason also co-owns Tim's Tavern in White Center. And he's a chef who's cooked for some of the biggest names in music. Yeah, you name it, Billie Eilish, Paul McCartney. I'm, you know, I made I made a bean burrito with a homemade salsa for Paul, Sir Paul McCartney while you know, his secret service or whoever it was stood over my shoulder and made sure I didn't mess with its food. While Mason and the team here are making some subtle tweaks to the menu, like adding a couple of vegan options and producing a lot of sauces and dressings in-house, the best staples, like those famous 12 egg omelets with all-you-can-eat hash browns, well, they aren't going anywhere. There's that old saying that, you know, you don't need to fix what's not broken. Um, there's nothing broken except a, a bunch of eggs. So I don't want to change much of anything. Um, I love the menu. Mason, what do we got in front of us, man? This is quite the spread. Yeah, it is. <laughs> uh, okay, we got the world famous triple bypass. This is a six egg omelet, so it's the half size. This is just the, <laughs> <laughs> it's the size this of is my the head. starter, the starter version. <laughs> uh, country Benedict, one of the one of the favorites here. Uh, and then this is the French toast combo. We got scrambled eggs and bacon and sausage, and our French toast with uh, strawberries and whipped cream. You guys are making these biscuits in-house? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Yeah, everything fresh. Biscuits were baked this morning. That is the magic of a great breakfast. Look at that. Come on. What's not to like about that? That's the way to start your day right, right there, man. That is. Or maybe end your day right. That's right. <laughs> end your, uh, your late night. Yes, Best Cafe is singular, a Seattle one of one. It's a place where folks commune over coffee and nurse hangovers with hash browns. If these walls could talk, man, they would have some stories to tell. And even now, some seven decades in, there are still more stories to come. I just want everyone to know that uh, we're here, we're here to stay, and I'm, it's the same old place. I'm not, try, I'm not trying to reinvent the wheel here at all. Um, all I'm trying to do is protect and preserve uh, the cafe that we've all grown up with and, and, and learned to love throughout the years. Bess is bigger than me. It's bigger than all of us. It is a giant institution, and I'm honored and humbled to be the guy that gets to carry the torch. For Seattle Refined, I'm Brandon Bernstead.